Being in music is my dream job. I've been playing music since I was four, and it was the one place where I felt my best. I was motivated to study music mainly because I was happiest playing. So my parents would look for me in the house and they'd find me in the corner playing on a little keyboard, or I would spend my summers in the den practicing. My course of education started with piano from when I was four years old, and then I uh, auditioned at LaGuardia High School of the Arts in New York City and uh, got in, and I had to pick the secondary instrument, so I chose the viola. So I started off college with a double major in piano and viola, and then I had what I like to call my 19-year-old breakdown, where I stopped playing music altogether. A friend of mine was going to perform a flute recital and asked me to accompany her on the piano, and there was a harpsichord teacher there, and she offered to teach me for free. Finding a job in my field was tricky. When I moved to Boston from New York, I was already pursuing a doctor in music, in harpsichord performance specifically, and I was about to get married. My husband at the time was laid off, and I had to find a job. So I applied for a job at Chanel, stayed there for what I thought would be a couple years, which then turned into eight. Getting back to my passion in music was very interesting while working. So I would go down to Miami to perform with the New World Symphony. And another opportunity that I had was to perform locally with a couple of groups here, but there wasn't really any time for me to focus on performing exclusively because I had to make money. My motivation for creating L'Academy came at a very difficult time of my life. I was going through a divorce, my mother was very sick with cancer, and I had to decide if I was going to go back to school to finish my doctorate in New York, which I had not completed yet, or if I was going to create something else. L'Academy is a number of different things. First and foremost, it's a group that I founded seven years ago. It's a Baroque orchestra comprised of around 17 people. We have a mission where we focus on French Baroque repertoire, but we also provide concerts for patients and hospitals in the Boston area. The biggest challenge I faced in launching L'Academy was currency financial currency, having the finances to put it together, and intellectual currency, finding women, specifically women, who would support me and train me to understand what it meant to run a nonprofit. I knew nothing about that as a musician. The advice I would give women about following their true passion would be to keep it close to your heart. Trust your heart, believe that what you have to say with your dream can happen. It may not unfold the time that you would like it to, but if it's really meant to be, it will. It is important for all of us to follow our passion because that's all we have as human beings. We're here for such a short period of time and nothing is promised. So if you have a desire and you have the ability to, to recognize it and to realize it, I think that's the best thing you can do for yourself and then the world will benefit from that.